Uh, you've all heard of the Bad Bean Special. If you haven't, you should have. It's an old, old pattern, very effective. This is my effort to adapt this fly to a jig. Not that we would ever fish a jig under an indicator. So this is, I'm using a Gamagatsu jig hook. This is an Arctic Fox tail for the tail. Uh, Arctic Fox body really doesn't do the trick. I've run that uh, material all the way up the hook. That's going to provide a base for the body. I'm going to jazz up the tail just a little bit with some crystal flash. This is fluorescent fuchsia. A few strands on that side. Take a couple, three turns, then pull it over. Land those strands on the near side and cut it. A little bit of this holographic pink flashaboo. Same drill. So the Babine Special is um, one that's been fished a lot up north and by folks who are looking for a pretty good profile pinkish fly. You can swing it, you can dead drift it. Um, this is quite a little diversion from the original, but it's still reminiscent. I'm going to, one could call this a two egg jig fly. I'm going to take a couple of turns of this fluorescent. So I actually took three turns at the rear of the fly. You trim that and then you pull a little bit of the fuzz off so you don't have as much bulk when you lash it down. Center of this fly is Lagerton Silver Mini Flat Braid. So one of the features of the Babine Special is it has basically two big old honking hunks of chenille as in two eggs. This fly, other than being tied on a jig hook, um, also has two eggs, but they're smaller, they're more subtle. So now I'm going to put on uh, these painted eyes. These are the large ones. One of the nice things about these, uh, you see there's kind of a barbell-like section in the center. These make it pretty easy to lash these on. Go around the base to, to lock that in. Add a little dab of cement. Go real light on the cement because with the painted eyes if you use very much cement it will, uh, the paint will run. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna jazz this up with some Loco legs, some wiggle and jiggle, which really works well on a jig. Th these Loco legs happen to be bonefish pink. So I'm, I'm going to tie these in initially behind the barbell eyes. Trim it pretty close, and then now notice this is on the underside of the hook, or or the upper side as it's fished. Point is, I'd like to be, I'd like these to be kind of as the fly is tied here, to be kind of pointed up so that they have a little bit extra wiggle when they hang there and go through the water. And I come back. And I'm going to tie on my chenille. This is fluorescent shrimp pink. So now I'm going to turn my fly the other way. So there's a little formula. So first I'm going to bring my thread forward so it's ready to tie that chenille off. 
there's a little formula. You, you can do it any way you want to, but I go around the far side, back towards me, then I reach in and snip that extra little rubber leg. And because these are large eyes, I'm going to go around twice. And then I come around the near side, and then back, and then in front. That gets, and I'm going to go around twice in front. And that formula just, that just, it's some standardization. It helps you make sure you got your bases covered and your, your barbell covered. You trim that chenille. And this will fly. You're going to have a little bit, little tiny bit of fuzz sticking up there, but that's okay. You pull most of that off. And you tie your whip finish around the rubber legs, which is in itself a fun little exercise. Sometimes I use my scissors to ease my thread loop closed like that. So here you go. It's the Enhanced Babine Special.